So it might be hard to believe, but I love this car more than I love the, the R8. I really do. I love the uh, R8 for what it is. Um, you get attention in it, it sounds amazing, there's shifting gears and it's incredible, but this thing right here, this is what I'm used to, this is what I love. This is, you know, I had a hatchback as my first car and I love the practicality of it. I love the practicality of it, I love, you know, I just love that it, it, it doesn't look like much. It's not that flashy. You know, uh, it's flashier than stock, but it's not that flashy. And that's kind of what I love about it because, you know, most people are gonna see this car and not think twice at what it is. But as it sits right now, it's making 570 horsepower to the wheels, which is probably close to 700 horsepower at the crank. So, you know, this is gonna embarrass a lot of supercars, like a lot. And uh, it's not even done being tuned. So with that said, I should easily get into the 600s, no problem. What's up guys, welcome back to another video. My name is Franco and this is Auto Society. I wanted to just take the time to make this video because I'm actually, um, I've got an update on my Golf. All right, and this car has been a long time coming. It's quite honestly the biggest pain in the ass. The thing that I have to say about this car and about the person who built it, Arnold from Pack Parts, is yes, it took a long time, but also not one thing was done improperly. Arnold went above and beyond. Literally, right now, he's actually making some part to make my brushless fuel pump work even better. Again, he could have let this car just leave the shop and could have been dealt with later, but he figures he wants it to be absolutely perfect. Mirza, my tuner from Boosted Euro, which I love, but we had a lot of communication issues. Um, supposedly he's coming today. He's a busy person and doesn't always come through. And I'm going to, he's going to put the car back up on a dyno. It's been 17 months in the making and I'm hoping that today is the last and final time this car has to get touched because in all honesty, I just want to enjoy it. Good morning everybody. It's Franco again. Uh, this is the next day after I was supposed to have my Golf R tuned. This is the day where supposedly Mirza is supposed to be waking up at 6 a.m. It's now 8.12. And he was supposed to text Arnold, and Arnold was supposed to text me and let me know that he secured a spot with um, a local dyno. So, so far that hasn't happened. So I got another update. It's, uh, it's 3.45 right now. Arnold and Mirza are at Arnold's shop. Mirza just finished installing my virtual cockpit cluster. And it's all coded. Everything is good to go on that front. Just waiting to hear back from them because now they're supposed to be heading over to Chris Miller's dyno so that they can finish tuning this car and I can finally get it back. Ah, look what we have here. Is that a P1? Or a five... Definitely not a P1, but it looks somewhat similar to a P1. Probably a 570. Of course, like an idiot, I didn't have my camera rolling when I was talking to the driver, the owner of that car. Uh, it's a 570 GT. So, um, I couldn't even tell you what that is. All I can tell you is that it's probably definitely a twin turbo V8. It sounded awesome and it looked great. I said to the guy, it looked like a P1 from the back, 
He goes, yeah, it's like a mini P1 because the tail lights. I'm like, that's exactly what I thought. So that's pretty cool. I love catching uh, other exotic cars on the road. And ever since I got this car, I've kind of gotten a little more respect from them. Even though, I guess you can consider this like an entry-level sports car. Entry-level supercar. Whatever. Let's go see what Mears is doing. Peace. All right. Finally made it here. There goes the golf vehicle in question. Let's see what's going on. What's up? How are you? I'm doing okay. You doing okay? I didn't know I was going to be some kind of movie star today. You're a movie star. So is Mirza. Okay. What's up? What's up, bro? What's going on? Not much. What are you guys doing? Um, trying to figure out a fuel issue. A what? A fuel issue. Still? Yeah, we're, um, we're not getting enough pressure. Didn't you change the hat or something? And still? Uh, it's doing some weird stuff at idle where it's it's supposed to be running on some kind of low duty, but it's not. Also, so we're commanding it for a much lower duty, but it's not doing it. So we're trying to figure it out. So right now I flash the uh, test file to make sure that it's not the file itself. It's the module and that's what we got Oh, okay. Well, we, I might have to wire that. I think. It's never anything, huh? Why would, you wash your, why would you brush your face with those gloves, bro? I don't care. Now you have fucking face, this hands on your face. That cluster looks great. Yeah. Love it. Module, where, what module are we talking about? Just so I can understand. Fuel pump and fuel module. It's a little computer. That's it? It's a little stand for the fuel pump. So, uh, this is for the brushless one? How the f do you have an extra one of these? That's how I roll, man. Either yeah, that or you're f learning. learning. How about this car? The backup plan. Yeah. How many, how many times have you had to rebuild this car? <laughs> Alright, I'm not recording. How many times now? <laughs> this motor's been built like eight times. This is, uh, this, is how it, this is how it was from day one. Because, you know. It's a 1.6 liter, 140 horsepower. It was built once. Right, come on, get to, get to building so you can get on this dyno today. Come on, come on. You leave me? Stop blocking the file? Yeah, that's low boost, so... That's low boost? That's low boost right now. So, just picture that. I shifted early, but... Right. I shifted like 78, but... Imagine that a higher boost just keeps pulling and pulling and pulling. <laughs> It'll keep going like that. Yo. Uh, Is that good news? <laughs> not really, no. He got it to 570 wheel. But it won't go past 31 PSI. So it's still so, knocking. So it's still knocking, yeah. And uh, it's still knocking. He can't get it past 31 PSI. So he's he did a leak down test. All the cylinders look good. But he's thinking that there might be a boost leak because he did a, a smoke test. And he saw some smoke from... Um, from the diverter valve. So he wants to change the injector. Well, yeah, I thought he fucking fixed it. I thought he did too. I've got the final update for today. 
Arnold said that he um, he ordered a new knock sensor and he's gonna get a new injector and he's gonna put it in the car tomorrow and then if that doesn't work he's fresh out of ideas as to why cylinder number three is uh is knocking I guess he hit like a, I don't know, something in the road, and now we're on the side of the road with a flat. This is a disaster. What? I don't know what I'm looking at. Hmm? It's good? All right, well, there you have it. That's gonna wrap up this video, guys. I got to drive the Golf R. I got it inspected. It made 570 wheel horsepower. And uh, that was only on a maximum of 31 PSI. So we're looking to see if we can raise that uh, another four PSI or so. Um, we wanna get over 600 horsepower and uh, yeah, so knocking in cylinder three, we're gonna change an injector and see if that fixes the issue and then get Mirza back here to retune and uh, finalize this bad boy. But every time we get this thing on the dyno, we uh, get closer and closer, you know? It's what it is. But anyway, listen, thank you guys so much for watching. Please like and subscribe, all right? Share this video and uh, yeah, that's it. I hope I get better news. I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace out. I forget to get the camera. We're sitting here watching it. I'm like, what? Oh, I have a camera in the car. <laughs> Why are you vlogging this right now? You can... This is like, this is like a huge car right here. They're stuck on the side of the road, guys. Matching a tire in an RS6 Avant on the right. side of the road. <laughs> With like four plugs that don't make the holes the size of Wow, that's even worse. You had no light on this whole time. <laughs> Yo, so you know this guy named Mirza? <laughs> He's loving my life. <laughs> but when he calls you, right? When he answers the call. <laughs> Wait, Mirza answers your phone call? I feel like every time he answers the call, I feel like I won the lottery, bro. It's the craziest thing. 